Hey, if you guys are rocking the latest version of Microsoft Edge browser, you may have seen this feature called Drop. As it says, use Drop to share files and messages between your phone and desktop devices. So we can simply drop a file to the right hand section over here. If you don't see it, you just need to click on this little icon here. It looks a bit like a blue paper airplane. So we'll click that. It's going to open up this window and we can drop a file directly into that to share it with our other devices. So I'm just going to pick a file here. I've just got an image of a sun. Let's grab that one, drop it over here on the right. It's going to ask us to want to send that. Cancel to say no, obviously, and send to say yes. All right, there it is. So now what we'll need to do is go to our phone. Okay, there's my phone mirrored onto my screen. So let's now go to Edge. There's this little button down the bottom here, the three little dots or the ellipses, as I believe you'd call that. We'll tap that. We'll scroll down. We'll see drop. And there you can see the file in question. So all we now need to do is hit download. And now that file is available here on my phone. So I can open that as you've just seen. So that's a terrific way to drag and drop files, but it also works with other types of files as well. So if we go and open up Notepad, and we'll just type in, this is a test, we'll go and save that. As the file name, this is a test to that same location. We'll close that down. There's the file, we'll drag and drop that over. We'll click send yet again. And there we are on the phone. So you can see we've got a little refresh icon up the top here, but we didn't even need to do that because there is the file. So if we just have a look at that, you can see that is the file. So that's how simple it was. So just take a file from my desktop PC, my Windows PC, and drag and drop it essentially over to my iPhone. So let's look at doing the same in reverse. But before we do that, right down the bottom, you'll notice that we can write a note to ourselves. So we can write a note, test note, and we'll just send that. I didn't even spell it right, but that's fine. Down the bottom here in our edge, we've got a notification that we've got a new drop message. Now we don't really need to click that, but we could, and that's gonna launch our edge browser if we don't have it open, which we do. Down there, you can see that message. So we can simply delete it. We could respond to it. And again, on the phone, there is the chat, which is pretty cool. But also you'll note that on the phone, we've got this little icon down the bottom here, the little plus icon. If we tap on that, we've got the options to send documents, pictures, or take a photo with the camera. So let's take a photo with the camera. Let's take a photo of my dogs that just happen to be lying down here. I'll use that photo. And obviously that's been sent. And on my Edge browser, we can see that photo as well. So let's just open that up and there it is. So how cool is that? It's a nice, easy way to transfer a file or files or messages from my phone to my desktop or from my desktop to my phone. And it's all built into our browser. I tell you, Microsoft Edge really has been gathering momentum and coming out with some really cool features. And this is definitely one that I will use in the future. So if you didn't know about it, now you know the drop feature in Microsoft Edge. Just make sure you've got the latest version and you'll have access to this. Now, obviously, you will need to be logged in with your same Microsoft account with both of these devices, but you're going to do that anyway. And before I forget, this feature is available on the Mac as well with Microsoft Edge. So in Edge on the Mac, we'll click the same little icon here, the drop icon, and I'll do a little test. Let's just drag and drop a PDF here, which is just a black PDF file over to our drop zone. We'll hit send, and that should be now sent over to all my devices. So there we go. That's on the iPhone. You should be able to see that there. And obviously on our Windows PC, you can also see that that PDF file has launched there as well. So that's my three devices, my Mac, my Windows PC, and my phone, all of access to everything. So that's a fantastic way of dragging, dropping files and pictures and all that sort of stuff and messages between all of these devices just using Microsoft Edge. Fantastic feature. I know I'll be using it. Will you be using it? If you are, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Certainly another reason to switch to Edge if you haven't done it already. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of stuff and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.